In this tutorial we are going to create a breakable window and there's a few things that we need to do. One, of course have a place where window is going to go. Uh, you want the size of your brush to be between two and four units thick. So make sure you have snap to grid to about four. Right now I have it. If you want to lower you can bring it down even low. Okay now the entire window we're gonna cover it in no draw texture so let me go and uh, swap the texture to no no draw and apply it to the entire to everything so right now it's covered in no draw texture and then we're gonna apply a glass texture to uh, just one face so go back browse and search for glass um, and urban slash urban the glass that uh, valve used for most of their maps for breakable windows is called glass slash urban underscore glass 03 so that's the one I'm gonna use and now we have glass texture assigned to it now there's a few more things that we need to do to make sure that this glass will break when you shoot it or when you uh, come up and melee weapon uh, select your brush and you want to click to entity and then you want to tie that brush and you want to tie it to an entity which will be function breakable surface click apply and there's a few things in here that uh, once you're now once you have your your brush with the glass texture as a function breakable surface uh, there's a few things you can go in here and change you can uh, health is how uh, much damage the surface can take before breaking um, there's a few few flags you can check on or off. Um, most of these are self-explanatory and they'll give you a little explanation right here on the, on the side. So you can kind of go through and see. You can also change the surface type from glass to tile. And so let's go back. Now, at this point, there's a few things we need to uh, add. Reflections. And uh, we can do so by adding environment cube map and when you click on the entity tool select env underscore cube map and you want to place it in front of the window so once we are uh, compiled the map we have to build the cube maps and then we'll test our window so let's do that right now so let's compile our map and I'm going to I'm going to compile twice because I'm going to show you um, to make this glass breakable texture work. You have to compile it on HDR. So let me compile it without HDR checked, and uh, you will see what happens. And then we're going to go back and we'll recompile uh, with this checked on it. So once we're in the game, this is what happens when uh, you compile without using HDR and what it does it creates this nasty pink and black texture when, uh, when you try to break it. Now the, the glass and the window works and we're able to run through it but this is a problem of course so now we're gonna recompile with HDR on and back in the editor what we're gonna do is when we compile our map we're gonna turn HDR on and this this way it'll work our window work. We'll also build cube maps inside and we start the, start the map and I'll show you how to do that. So to make the window work so you don't ha get that nasty uh, black and pink texture check on HDR click OK and now we're inside the game. Now HDR takes a little longer to compile but now we can shoot the glass and it works also uh, really quick uh, bring up your console and type in build cube maps it's going to build the cube maps and then restart the map again and and once you build your cube maps and restart the map now we can see reflections of the environment and that is how you build breakable windows